Now, not unusual, I just made, this is Beano Black, hello folks, and basically just making this video, it's going to be pretty short, so don't get excited, I don't, basically just showing and emphasizing the temperatures all over the United States today. Very unusual cold trough. I mean, it's not that unusual in the idea that we could have it all the way across the northern part of the United States and through Canada and so forth, but we know for a factual that if you pay attention and look at the whole picture, should be able to get over here and and we will zoom out and pull in all the temperature plot of North America. Okay, we're gonna zoom in here. And even here you should start to realize that I don't know, yeah, I'll see if I can do it that way. But we're out in the Atlantic now. And like I say, I'm not gonna edit. I'll do this real fast. But check the trough out. Uh, we can zoom in on those temperatures some more on the east coast of that trough down there and it's just like a cold finger going down the east coast barely tipping off above Atlanta up in uh, Carolina there South Carolina up to North Carolina and then all the way up and we don't have much, hardly any usage going on right now, so we know who wants interested in seeing what's going on with Vino doing what. So we'll zoom out here with this. You can pretty much see the temperatures in your area there. And you know if you're living there, you know what your temperature is. When you go over to Western United States and also Canada, 55 up there. It's got to be some record highs up here somewhere. We know it's got to be record highs up here in Calgary and so forth. We'll zoom in on that. Uh, first off, I'll trough down here. We, I think we got all pretty much like get over just a little bit more. We get all the western. I apologize to Alaska there, but we know. As a matter of fact, we'll, we'll just really scan. You should be able to see this pretty good. So, zoom in a little bit more to get these temperatures. Just basically fighting with it a little bit. So we go down and Mexico can get some temperatures down there. Mexico, they're warm down there too. As you can see, the heat is down there like crazy too also. Okay, and then we go up to, you should be able to read those pretty good. And you're seeing what you're seeing. You're seeing 88, 83. I don't know if anybody got up to 90 today. Huge heat, and then we go up to Canada. 78 in Calgary, like I say, is very unusual at this time of year. It's got to be a record. So, uh, 79 Bismarck, 85 west of it, 86 out there, way west into Montana, Billings, 85. Now we should be able to go ahead and go up and see what's going on in Alaska. We'll, we'll zoom in on Calgary and Canada there and see if we're getting any more temperatures that are spread out along the territories up there. Provinces, apologize, I know that that's provinces, so we don't get anything there. Let's see if we can pop out a little bit and we get any temperatures there. And once again, you know, they always called Greenland Greenland because the idea they wanted to get people to go there because it's full of snow. As you can see, Northwest Territories and everything like that is very much melted off very early. I mean, barely have snow up there in Alaska, in the Yukon, right th there. And that's pretty much current snow. Uh, I got temperatures on here. See if we get that too. They don't want to know too much about the temperatures here. It seems like it's a big secret, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not. We basically see if it'll load. I had the temperatures earlier there for you. Let's see if we'll get it. So basically, they're just getting a very big cold trough off of Greenland. So it's going to be a hot summer, folks. You just figured dirty 30s again. Because that's all blowing off of off of Greenland, which is basically, it's the icy one, okay? Remember, Iceland is the warmer one, okay? And this is all current here, just trying to get the temperatures to come up. Here's an update on earthquakes, anyway, a map, anyway, that's why I was here. Since the temperatures ain't coming up very good, I can go out. We can look at the whole world, I think, here real fast. And you can always watch us on full screen, and there you go. So, as you can see, 
Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake all over the place. And he only had a 3.9 today. So I'll pop that. And there we've got the temperatures going again here, finally. But it's astounding, ladies and gentlemen, of the snow that's not in North America right now. Now, I admit that this might not be that damn current. could be off. But because I do know that China is supposed to have some snow. Okay. They were actually even talking about their snowpack has increased or something. So anyway, we'll find out if that's factual because let me go to RSOE. And we got a small quake in Utah, 2.6. Not yet listed on USGS either. They just still have the greater Los Angeles area that had that 3.9 today. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go to RSOE in a second, and we'll see how close we are on matching up on snow cover and so forth and so on. And there is government's ones to go to too, I guess. Basically, this should catch up with the satellites, stuff like that. So no matter what, if this is correct, I'm going to go to RSOG, and I just basically show you that basically they're not wanting me to show you some temperatures because the software is not one, and I'm even been down at 100, and, and it comes in for a second, and then it's gone. So, so RSOGs are usually pretty accurate because the idea that it is an emergency channel. So there you go. You see some of the snow action. And I, can't, I don't think I can get temperatures here, but... Uh, we'll zoom in on Anchorage, see what Anchorage is looking like in Anchorage in Alaska with the snowpack with this. And basically once we get in so far, it will give us a satellite shot. So I'm not sure how f often they refresh these. So anyway, that is what we believe to be snowpack right now. And let's go back to IntelliCast and see what they got going on over there. And if we zoom in. So that's what we get there. Let's pop back over to RSOE. So they should pretty much be refreshed and pretty darn close to what we got for snowpack. Anyway, warm temperatures. You can roll back and see those temperatures that I was showing you. And I'll just pop up and see what we got for temperature in Anchorage. This was the high temperature forecast. Here we go to that map, and that'll work pretty good. So there you go. You can see this real good. Nice and toasty. I ain't complaining, but what's the rest of the year going to be look like? So anyway, remember that's our cold drop that we had over there that's very weird. Not really for this time of year. I mean, we could have that anywhere along here, but a lot larger, not just a finger like that. So anyway, I go, uh, I'm going to go to the current. I'll go up and hit current, and then I apologize to Alaska and Hawaii, but basically that's not the way these maps work. So Great Falls, 84, and apologize to Canada because we can't pull that up right now. I did show you earlier, though. Up there in Calgary. So let's see if we can pull in some temperatures just by hollering out for like Anchorage. Here's the fields like. Remember, I've uh, seen reports of triple digits, like I think, over the weekend or something down in uh, Arizona, which is nothing new, but early for the year. Okay, this is the fields like it temperature guide. Like I say, up in Canada, they got to feel pretty uncomfortable right in there with that heat, big old heat spell there. And it's got to be really humid in Salt Lake right now with all the moisture with that heat, you'd think. Lows for tomorrow, it's the 23rd today. So it's not even going to get that cold in. That's as cold as it. They're going to think it's only going to get down to 49 tomorrow. So anyway, that's the low for tomorrow, I guess, during the daylight hours maybe up in Maine. So, pretty wild temperatures. And as you can see, North America is the freshest earthquakes right now. Bing to bing to bing. That one in Utah. Uh, greater LA area, 3.9. And up in Alaska, there's a few. So, 
Okay, and it's April and it's feeling like 39 degrees with the wind chill and everything. So it's warm up there in Anchorage right now, 40 degrees. Remember, they got all that snow to be the breeze to be blowing off of, and they're going to be in the 50s on Friday, 52 on Friday. Hell, they'd be wearing their shorts up there, 52 degrees on Friday, 54 Thursday. Holy heat waves! Get the suntan lotion out. So it's warm. So it's warming up tomorrow too. So. All the soda and water sales will be making money. Everybody's got to need. Everybody needs healthy water. Somebody's getting rich. So, anyhow, it's going to be warmer than hell tomorrow. And yes, folks, I'm used to the heat. Okay, what I'm saying is, is this is hella early for this time of year. Okay, so Dutch had a link for record temperatures. So check that out. See how many record temperatures were popping today so and everybody's searching it out so let's go check it out all these searches you know when people put searches in then they end up being a, a search so let's go check it out and also folks pay attention to me or at least a lot of people on the internet because it's not gases okay we've got global warming from the sun and the super giants I've got a record heat all of a sudden because of human beings. It's not a human's fault. We're not warming the place up. And Mother Nature's cooling it down by having volcanic ash flying all over the flipping place. So let's go to U.S. Records, Warmers in March History. Anyway, you can read this. 8.6 degrees above the 20th century average for March, scientists have reported. So it's not gas. Nobody's been buying gas for the last two years or so. Anyway, folks, there's been too many people out of work the last two years to be burning up and messing up the atmosphere that bad. So here you go. Here's some more. Shifting over level one below pattern means more weather extremes. Albany ties record for most records broken in a month. Excessive warmth is expected to continue across the eastern USA. How about the whole damn USA? Okay, and this pretty much shows how the cold air is trapped. Bam, 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 and bam. And here's a good example, folks. Here's uh, record temperatures at Newark Airport. I think it's Newark, New York. Newark. New York or Newark, New Jersey or Newark somewhere out east and basically you'll get an example the old record was 68 73 on the 12th and we'll come up here and basically everything should be a record and I believe this might have been last month possibly the 31st so anyway record temperatures So watch these, I guess, if you live in the area, and then you'll know if you're breaking a record. So you got to go looking around for a lot of data for this. There might be a big catalog somewhere. So, so basically, uh, here's something to go by. You can check these temperatures out and see what you're breaking in your area. All right. Mount Hood is where some snow is at if you want to get some last minute snow for sort of burden, boarding in or whatever, skiing. So check out what temperatures you can break on those dates. This is going to be in the future, but this is the kind of summer we're looking for. So I would look to see if we break any of these records. So watch these temperatures for those times of the year. And like I've said, folks, get a welding lens and see if you can see what you see. Remember, look at the sun only with very safe protective gear okay so there's stuff out there just make sure you view it with a safe welding goggles or exposed film dark black a couple layers remember full screen all the time and always the best information is usually at the very end barium absorbed radiation okay so you want to stay away from barium because it will absorb the radiation, but then again you want barium somewhere.